Okay, good morning. Today we are going to be doing rewriting addition problems. So we are going to be using regrouping as an addition. So I'm gonna go step by step. We're gonna first read the story like we always do. And then we are going to do step by step into that step, the A, B, C, all the way to F, okay? So, um, Kim counts 57 toy cars. Larry counts 24, 25 toy cars. How many toy cars do they count? So the main numbers here are 57, which is the toy cars, and then Larry counts 25. So we're gonna add them up to see how many cars do they count all together. So we are going to rewrite the addition in the chart that we have right here using the tens and the ones. And that's the same one that you have in your book. I have it on the board. So we are going to be putting our numbers into tens and ones. Okay, we are going to be writing add the ones. And if regroup is needed, we are going to be doing that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to be writing the numbers where they belong. So 57, your five, which is the 50, goes into your 10, and your seven goes into your ones. Then 25, which is the toy cars that Larry had, your two, which is your 20, goes into your 10, and your five, which is your one, goes into your five, and it goes to your one. Now we are ready to add it up. So we are going to, I'm gonna use different colors so that way you can see what we do when we regroup. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you add your ones. Always remember, you always add in your ones first. So you're gonna add seven plus five, which is equals to 12. That's why you have 12 ones, okay? So that's on the first line, you have 12 ones. So now we are going to add it up. So your two goes into your ones, and your ones goes into your tens, which is your regrouping. Now we are going to be adding the tens. Are there 10 ones to regroup? Yes, we are going to regroup the 12, which is the two into the ones and the tens into the one into the tens. Now we are going to rewrite it and then we're gonna add it up. So we have one plus five plus two, which is equal to this is seven plus one is eight. So it's gonna be 82. So five tens and two tens equals, plus one ten equals to eight. So the toy have 80, they have 82 toys card. Now we're gonna go to the next page, which is page 304. And we're gonna do another problem. And this one is similar to the one that you have, we saw before, but this one have different story. Giovanna draws 36 pictures, then she draws 58 more pictures. How many pictures does Giovanna draw? And again, they're showing you what are the numbers that you're gonna be adding. And then again, we are going to be doing it exactly the same way that we did previously, which is in your tens and into your ones. As you notice, we don't have the chart that says tens and ones, but we already know that. So we are going to be doing it the same way. Add the ones, regroup if you need to. So we are going to add the ones. We're gonna do the same thing, 36. And then we're gonna have 58. And again, just remember, this is your tens and which one is your ones. So remember that we're gonna be adding. So you're gonna add your ones first, which is six plus eight, which is equals to 14. Four is your ones, and then your one goes into your 10. Now you're gonna add the tens, which is three plus one plus five, and that's equal to nine. And your answer should be 94. You have three tens plus the five tens equal to five, plus one ten equals to nine tens, 94. Now let's check on your understanding. Okay, at the bottom, we had the same thing. Just make sure that you line up your numbers into your ones and to your tens. So 75 plus 14. You know that 75, your five is your ones and your seven is your tens. Just make sure that you line them up in the chart where they belong. 
and then you have 14, one four, one goes into your 10 and four goes into your ones and then you can add it up. This time we're not going to regroup because five and four is nine. So if it's more than nine, then you have to regroup. If you don't, then you just put it the same way it is. And then seven plus one equals eight. Okay, now you're gonna be doing the following on your own um, and we're gonna follow the same examples.